Hi guys, today we're going to revise diodes and some of their uses. So starting off, what is a diode? Well a diode is a piece of equipment or a component in a circuit that will only allow electricity to flow through it in one direction. And if you take a look at the diagram here, uh, this is the diagram, uh, sorry, well this is the uh, symbol for a diode. And you can see, can you see how there's an arrow kind of pointing this way? And I, I always tell my students that this is a bit like a wall. So if the conventional current is flowing this way, it's allowed to go through because the arrow is pointing in this direction. So if conventional current, i.e. if this side is positive and this side is negative, the current will flow through. If it's, if it's the other way around, if this side is positive and this side is negative, when the electricity goes this way, it will hit the wall and it won't be allowed to go through. Now in this diagram here, I've got a, a diode, I've got a light bulb and I've got a, a battery. The conventional current is going round like this and the arrow is pointing in the direction that the conventional current wants to flow through. So for going from positive to negative around this way. So we'll see the light bulb in this case uh, would light up. So we'd get light coming from our little light bulb here. The circuit uh, would actually work. But in this case here, uh, the conventional current is trying to go around this way. But as it goes around, it's going to meet the wall here and it's not going to be able to flow through. So in this case, the bulb is going to be off. One of the uses of a diode is that they can turn alternating current into direct current. Now one uh, very simple circuit is called the half wave rectifier. Now the half wave rectifier, we've got the AC source. So the electricity here is trying to go uh, in both directions. Uh, uh, we've got a diode here, and then I've drawn a resistor here, but that really could be anything. It could be a light bulb. Uh, it would, it's just going to call it the load in this case. So, the electricity, if this side is positive and this side is negative, the electricity is going to come around here, it's going to flow through, round, and back. So, for a half of the wave, so half of the wave here, some part of the electricity is being pushed around here, it's going to flow through. But, however, if the electricity is trying to go this way around, it'll hit the wall and it won't be able to flow. Now, if you draw a little, uh, let me just sketch a graph of the current, how the current's going to flow. Now, what's happening is the, the source is trying to give an output like this. But really, what happens is because the diode only works in one direction. So when it when the source here is trying to push the electricity, the only time the current is really going to flow uh, is when it's going forwards. So when you have something like this, so really what will happen is only the electricity will flow here. When it's trying to flow the other direction, nothing's going to happen. Then it will flow again. Then nothing will happen. Then it will flow again. And then nothing will happen. Now. This is, this is kind of useful. The only problem is, half of the time, you've got no current flowing at all. If you've got sensitive electronics, like a, like a microchip, effectively you're switching it off at this point here, and it really will not like it. So, the half-wave rectifier, okay, it's, it's, it's kind of a useful circuit, but in reality, it's not used very often. Okay, now, a much more useful circuit uh, for converting AC electricity into DC electricity is called the full wave rectifier. So here again we've got our AC source. Uh, we've got a load over here and again I've just drawn a, resist a resistor but it really could be anything. Uh, and we've got these four diodes here. And they're in a very very special configuration and it's really really clever. Uh, and this, instead of just getting half of the electricity uh, from our AC source will actually get uh, the full wave, all the power going through uh, and ending up at the load and you'll see the load will receive only 
uh, a direct current. Okay. So something before I start drawing uh, the flow of the current, uh, th this little section here, I want you just to know that, that the wires are not connected in any way. The wire here is not connected with this wire here. So that's just something important just to note. So firstly, what we're going to do is we're just going to imagine the AC source, well, it's going, uh, this side might be positive or this side might be positive, but we're gonna imagine, well, what happens when this side is positive here and this side is negative? Well, the current is gonna go round here uh, like this, and it's going to go this way. Now, it can't go this way because if it goes this way, it's gonna hit the wall here. So it can only go this way round. And again, if it tries to go here, it's gonna hit the wall again. So it's gonna go through here, round here, round this way, uh, back this way. Now, here you might be thinking, well, it could go this way or it could go this way. Well, it's not gonna go back to somewhere that's more positive. So it's actually gonna come this way round, oops, like this, round here, and back to here. Okay, so let me just go through this again. If this side is positive, the conventional current will go round here like this. Remember, it can't go this way because this diode, it'll hit the, the wall here. Or if it goes this way, it'll hit the wall here. It's gonna go all the way around like this, back around there, and then to the negative. Now let's have a look, because remember, this is for only half of the, the wave. And this wave is going up like this. What about, what happens when this is going down like this? Well, let's now say this side is positive and this side is negative. Well, our current's gonna go round like this. Okay, again, when it gets to this junction, it can't go this way, because it's gonna hit the wall. The only way it can go is this way. So it's gonna go up like this, round here. Okay, now what can it do here? Well, again, it can't go this way, so it's forced to go around this way, like this. Back up this way. And then remember this time, uh, this side is negative. So when it reaches this junction here, it's, it wants to go from the positive to the negative. So go through this diode, back around here, and down here. So let me just go through that again. This time, if this side is positive, the current will flow through here. It can't flow here, it has to go through here. Round it goes through the load, uh, back up here. Then it wants to go to the negative over here, so it'd rather go through here and down this way. Now something that I want you guys to look at is just here at the load. Look, it doesn't matter which way the arrows are pointing here. Can you see both the blue and the red arrow is pointing this way? So if I graph uh, the current, what you'd, what you'd have is the AC source. Okay, let me do the AC source in red. We'll do something like this. The, the, the current at the load, you'd actually just get this. So all that AC electricity is being converted into DC. Very clever stuff. And the last little part of the video, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget guys, hit that subscribe button if you found this video useful. Bye for now.